I was hoping we would see Core in that ride. I don't think he got in. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. Hmm. Uh, but uh, it's there for you, Jenny, if you'd like to go out there That's and okay. check it out. Hard pass. <laughs> Steve? <laughs> uh, you know, I'll do the scrambler there, but not that big thing that okay. I Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice, nice weather either way. Yeah, this. boy. Yeah. Gosh, I tell you guys, we are looking at a great weekend. Going to be, in my opinion, the best weekend yet this calendar year. Temperatures already, look at this beautiful shot in downtown Portland, 75 degrees. That temperature jumped up real fast in the last hour or two as that east-southeast wind now blowing at 21 miles an hour and that relative humidity was up 60, 70, 80 percent this morning, now down to just 19 percent, so very dry air mass over us. We do have that red flag warning in effect right now until 10 p.m. tonight, so be careful out there. Uh, any ignition of any spark uh, could spread fire very quickly. Stoller Winery down there in F uh, Family Estates uh, Winery down there in Dundee. 74 degrees, beautiful weather there. Porta Calama now up to 72 for you folks up there in southwest Washington as well. Now you see the yellows on the map here. That's indicative of anywhere that's getting east wind right now. Very indicative of that in Salem or in uh, Salem, Portland, out there along the coast, even Tillamook 73. Astoria 73, and that's going to continue the rest of the afternoon. 60s over on the central and east side of the state. So all in all, a super nice day on the way. Already underway actually right now. We'll call it breezy this afternoon. That continues into the evening hours, but those temperatures up right just below 80 degrees in the metro area. I see a real nice evening on the way as that wind begins to back off as well. There's those current winds again uh, north at 18 in Salem, Corvallis 16, and then that east at 21 in Portland. Even out there along the coast at Tillamook, that's helping to push up those temperatures. Here's that wind gust forecast. You see it continues this afternoon, but by tonight it backs off. And then overnight tonight we go calm. So I think it's kind of a one day event in terms of the uh, significant winds coming. And, and it's not going to be super significant on the winds, but probably 20, 25 miles per hour. But look at those, that's just beautiful sunshine wall to wall in your zone planner across the valley to the coast, the gorge and central and east side of the state. Satellite and radar, not, not much there. A big ridge of high pressure up over the Pacific Northwest. The offshore flow continues over the weekend. It'll weaken just a little bit come Sunday. As you see the big weather pattern here, that ridge of high pressure just continues to be anchored in place Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, finally about Thursday. That upper level low will switch that offshore flow to a more onshore flow coming up. Again, I don't see much in the way of range. We look at that seven day forecast. Boy, TGIF today, 78, beautiful weather. The record high for tomorrow is 81. I'm calling for 81. We'll see if we can tie it. And then again on Sunday will be 80. And then we just cool it down slowly next week. And uh, maybe, maybe a chance of a shower coming up on Thursday, Ken. Thank you very much.